this one. I can smell the smoke from over here. I am worried about no consequence. Or did it sidetrack me? Tunnel vision with common sense. Never mind. I'll win this one. Never mind. I will the Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video over on the Chaser channel. What I have for you guys today is my level 1000 stats. And yeah, you finally hit the 1000 as you can see on the screen. If you don't know, I have been level 500 twice on this account where I reset both times. Once I did a coin clip with Soul Superior on his channel and then I reset my stats right before Infinite Warfare came out. It was the very last stream I did before the game came out. So now I finally made it to the 1000 in this account and we're gonna take a look at my stats, my classes, leaderboards and everything. So let's just get into it. We have my stats right here as you can see. I've only played 15 days and I've been playing a little bit after I hit the 1000 too. I think I did it in 13 days and some hours. I can't, re I can't exactly remember. But 15 days to get to the 1000 is pretty impressive in my opinion. 122,000 kills, 2,000 wins, 15 million scored too, um, and then you can see the Kadian win loss radio score per minute. It's not the score per minute is almost 700, which is really impressive. If you go to the game mode I've been playing, you can see I've been playing a lot of domination and TDM. The reason why I had so many wins in TDM is because I was going for dark matter. I was only doing it in TDM pretty much. So I've been playing some different game modes a little bit, and um, it's been defeat to game modes, frat to kill the firm, uplink, whatever. Been carried much pit too. Um, before they took it out. So, in this account, I have 69 kill team, 281 nuclears, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, I have over 1000 nuclears in total in my Black Art 3 career, I guess you can say. Um, but after reset my stats, I somehow managed to get up to almost 300 nuclears again. And then I have my sub somewhere 2252. But yeah, I think that's pretty much the stats. So what I've been using, I've been using M8, M16, and XMC. You can see the kill counter, you can see the KD. And um, I have a pretty decent accuracy with the M8, A7, as you can see, 35. That's actually, that's sick. Um, normally, usually it's around 20, 30 uh, for me. As you can see what all the other weapons, so. Alright, moving on to the classes. I had some classes I want to show you guys. This is probably my main class. M8 A7 as you can see here. This is kind of like the competitive class or the competitive setup. Use a red dot, quick draw, and stock as you can see right here. Um, normally I would use some other perks or some other attachments, but I've been going with this class setup for quite a while. It's working out pretty well for me. Using the RK5, I think that's my main secondary weapon. Sometimes you use Master or then it's the RK5 I'm using. And this is pretty much my stand up perk set I'm using right here. Oh, you, you will see me use these perks on all the clients I'm going to show you right now. I'm using Afterburner, Scavenger, and Tactical Man. I will use these three perks in every single class setup because that's just, that's just, I, I always use Afterburner. I jump along as you can see the game playing the background too. Um, Scavenger, I need Scavenger. I need ammo. I always use Scavenger. And then we have Tactical Mask. Uh, sometimes I would use Plant Suppressor, but Tactical Mask is just what I'm using right now because People, first of all, they don't look at that minimap that much. Splash and Pressure doesn't really matter. Um, and it's just, it's so annoying getting stunned. And that, getting your killed if you streak many times. So that's why I'm using Tactical Mask to prevent that from happening. So I always go with Tactical Mask now. It's just more of an important perk than Splash and Pressure to me. Then I just got to have Flag and Jacket on. And just a lot of people using Explosive now too. So I have Flag Jacket on some of my classes. My other class and my CUDA class. They're different. Um, I'm using quick draw, fast max, and extended max to play a really fast pace. I'm running around a lot, reeling faster. I have more ammunition with magazine, and then I had quick draw um, to win gunfights quicker too. Um, the same perks set up. I have fast hands too to aiming quicker uh, or while sprinting or after sprinting, I guess. So that's a really good class right here. Definitely recommend the class. Still using this a lot today, and um, you can use this with every submachine gun pretty much. The next one. I have looks it's pretty much the same quick no fast max extended max on the XMC. This gun is an after the melt machine. I just gotta say that really insane. I have flat jacket on this one instead of fast hands though. Uh, flat jacket is really good to use too. Um, with tactical match, you're almost like unstoppable. 
And we have my XR2 class. I have been using this class a lot. You can see some gameplays with it. If any of you guys remember 99 gun streak with um, the XR2 playing in the tomb in a new town. This class is absolutely monster. So this is kind of different. I'm using reflex. It doesn't matter if you reflex or if you use elo. It actually it really doesn't matter. But I'm using high caliber this one. Stock and fast math. Let me explain real quick. I feel like when you're using high caliber, you're getting way more uh, one burst because if you just get one bullet to the head, you do way more damage. That means that you get one burst way more often. I used to use high caliber in my image too, but I switched the setup up a little bit. And fast max, reloading faster, and stock really important point too. I just can't play without stock. So high caliber is really good um, attachment to use under a burst weapon because you get way, way more one shot or one burst. I mean. And it's the same class setup, um, oh they did that, um, secondary, RK5, the perks are the exact same. So moving on to the other one, Olympia, this is a fun class, I really do enjoy using the Olympia, it's so much fun to use. we are using Fast Knife, Marble, and Rapid Fire, don't want to go too much into this because it's not really a uh, class that normally we use, just want to go in for nukes and stuff like that, but yeah. This class setup with the Olympia is absolutely amazing, Fast Knife, Marble, Rapid Fire, and then I have... Of course, tactical mask, afterburner, scammer you, and flat taking on. Really nice weapon to use. I really do enjoy it. Alright, but that's gonna wrap up for today. And oh, by the way, I have all the DLC weapons on my account. Um, I have my supply bottle right here. 99 supply drops. I opened one by an accident. I have, as you can see, I have a really nice black maggot. I have two crane slams, and I have almost 8,000 cryptic keys, which is absolutely insane. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you want to see some more class setups, I'm not sure. I just, I show you the ones that I'm using a lot. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. And peace out.